None of us here. Another little uh, addition to our training by yourself series here. Um, I wanted to go over a tricky little subject, which is freeform. Um, freeform, the just basically grabbing your saber and doing moves as soon as they come to your to your imagination, is a very popular way of training, um, especially by oneself. Um, you see it a lot. It's it's a good thing to demonstrate and, and, and all of this kind of thing. Um, and it is good for certain things. And <clears throat> I wanted to go over exactly what it was good for um, and kind of what it isn't. Um, because freeform is, is a very limited type of thing in um, traditional martial arts to, to a certain extent. And the reason that is is because martial arts is really based on reaction. And... Uh, you need external stimulus, preferably non-cooperative, to really hone those, those skills. So training can take almost any form as long as you are keeping in mind the end product and as long as you can practice the end product. Um, <clears throat> when you are training by yourself and you don't have training partners, you never really get the opportunity to have that ex that external stimulus. So the move sets and the ideas that you will have when doing the free form will sometimes be uh, not conducive to what you really want to be doing, what you really want to be practicing um, as far as movement goes and everything like that. Um, you since you're limited by your imagination of what can possibly come to you, what that looks like, um, <clears throat> all of these these little uh, facets of, of a fight that a lot of people don't think about are, are completely absent from that. Now, um, when somebody does freeform and they're thinking about that, if they have a lot of experience, like if I'm doing freeform, I will often think about um, encounters that I've had that uh, that I I lost it, um, and try to replay those those scenarios back in, you know through my head, and try to come up with responses and, and 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 kind of wrap my head around it. Again, we're talking, I'm talking mostly to people who don't have that luxury, who don't have a training partner, who don't have that experience. <clears throat> so, we uh, have to look towards different ways of putting those kind of aspects into what we're doing. Now, freeform itself is very good for uh, chaining things together, for cardio fitness, for basic weapon handling, um, for general athleticism, all of these things it's, it's excellent for. Um, what it's not going to aid you in is it probably uh, preparing you too much for reality unless you're drawing specifically on reality. Now, I had the previous uh, video about shadow boxing, and um, that too is going to be limited. The difference with that is what, as I'm what I want to draw here is that with shadow boxing, you do have some external stimulus. Now, granted, you can control that stimulus, but at least you're observing something, something's coming into your eyes, going into your brain, and you're pretending to react to it. Whereas when you're doing freeform, everything is always in your head. Now, again, mental exercise, excellent. Cardiovascular exercise, excellent. Um, <clears throat> if you have your techniques down in your drills and all your basics, it's a good technique thing to run through. Um, it shouldn't take up the bulk of your practice, in my opinion, um, because it yields relatively little for as much effort as is needed to perform. So while if you're very interested in that, that's definitely good, good things to do, um, 
remember that your drills and your basics are where everything is going to be drawn from. If you don't have that basic footwork down, the hut slide, going back and forth, if you don't have footwork to a certain degree, what you're going to be doing is not going to be really based on anything. If you're not aware of your footwork, even, whether or not you're doing it right or wrong, you're missing out on most of what you should be training um, when you're practicing swordplay because as we're always saying most of swordplay is footwork positioning if i can get around here a simple step back or a simple step forward can usually win the day um <clears throat> anyway uh so there's the limitation there in in free form free form doesn't have any external stimulus and therefore we're not going to be able to uh, be reacting to anything. So we can't get um, uh, realistic responses. Now, if you do have some experience, you know, from another type of sport and you, and, and you don't have the freeform aspect, you don't have the solo aspect, lots of fencers don't have solo forms, um, or, or kata, you know, if you're not from an oriental martial art, as they say, or an Asian martial art, you will not get necessarily that type of training. Um, now, I know that in German swordplay there is there are flourishes, which are sort of like sets. Um, but generally speaking, in the West, the sets are, aren't really done. And um, that's kind of where sets kind of come into, because what... A teacher can do is they can create a set for a student or for a group of students or in, in our case for a, a large audience where you can do this set and it gives you specific points to keep your technique in line right it gives you something to to look at and to correct and to say okay I need to be in this stance how do I get from here to there it limits what you can do in, to a certain extent. So it kind of mimics external stimulus because you're essentially being told what to do by somebody else. Um, now the learning process is much different from learning it on YouTube um, to learning it with a teacher. Obviously a teacher is preferable. So if you can find a teacher or whatever, but if you could find a teacher, this video probably wouldn't be interesting you that much. Um, <clears throat> I'm really speaking to the people who can't find teachers, who can't find schools, who can't find people to, to do this kind of stuff with, or who are just starting out and want a little bit of skill before they start going out and looking for groups and, 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 and people. Um, so there. Uh, so as far as like freeform and solo exercises, Dulan and freeform kind of occupy the same space as being cardio, being kind of all this, whereas Dulan and forms have the added bonus of being pre preset so you have to learn them you are not completely free to do whatever you want because i will say this that in an actual encounter the feeling is not of free form when i'm moving around and, and doing whatever i want it is much the opposite i find that i can't do almost anything that i want to do um, and what i have to do is i have to find out what i can do what's going to make the most sense to do and how I can do it without letting them do what they want to do. So it's not when you get when you get one on one, it doesn't it's not a it's not a free form setting, even though you are completely free to do whatever you want. If you swing too far off the line, you will get hit. If you come in and you don't cover yourself, you will get hit. If you advance before your weapon <clears throat> you will get hit. These are just things that will happen. And so they constrain your technique. So constraining your technique to a certain set or, or what have you is a much more valuable exercise in that it gives us more to do with, um, and it gives us more stimulus for the training purposes of preparing for possible sparring or partner work that kind of thing um so there you go so 
in that realm, I would recommend Dulan way beyond Freeform. Over Dulan, I would recommend doing the bulk of your practice, doing drills and basics, working on footwork, and basic technique. Basic, you know, uh, blade work, footwork, body work, all of these things. That is really what makes or breaks a an encounter or a fight or a competition or anything like that. Which which fighter is better trained and which one has more of those skills available to them right there. Um, so there. And fitness is definitely a part of it. So but uh, so there you go. So some fun fitness is free form, but remember it's just fitness. Don't dwell on it. Really, really focus on your basics, really focus on your skills, on your basic techniques because that's what's going to win the day. All right. So, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, and happy Saber.